Previously on Hardcore Pawn. You ain't going nowhere this one, huh? Yeah. Yeah, boy. With his store in chaos. He stepped into my deal. And I closed it. I closed the deal. Shut up. Shut the f up for a change. And his kids off the rails. Right now, I can't imagine running a business with a family like ours. It's absolutely killing me inside. Les reached his breaking point. Ash, Seth, right now, right now. What? Right now, Les just went down. What? Dad, Dad, talk to me. Call 911, Seth. Hello, we have an emergency here. Tell me Ashley, to get here. on their way. Is this the point of no return? Plus. Two weeks ago, my dad collapsed inside the store. I feel pretty responsible for what had happened. It's been really hard on all of us. Hey, Seth, how's Les doing? He's not 100%, but uh, seems to be all right. Thanks for asking. All right. I can't believe the last thing that happened before my dad collapsed was an argument between me and Seth. My dad put Seth and me in charge of the store while he recovers. It's not ideal, but we've managed. Hello. How are ya? I'm looking to, for a ring for my girlfriend. All of our silver right now is half off. Um, do you like any of these? This one's 45. The worst service I ever had in my life, man. That's beautiful. Size seven, that's exactly the size she is. Can, can somebody help me in the store, man? Real talk? Now, I'm about to go nuts in this bitch, bro. I'll be right with you. No, I want you right now. I'll be right with you. Give me a second. Oh, my God, man. Uh, you can do this I one for 120. Can I get some help over here, please? Hello? Sir, give me one second, OK? Sure. Ugh. It's not like we're that busy in here. Why isn't anybody helping him? Can I help you? Yeah, I've been waiting here for an hour, dog, to get some customer service around here, and I don't know what the hell's going on. What am I supposed to do? OK, number one, I'm not a dog. Number two, I'm a girl. So, That's do you cool. know what you're looking for? Do you even know? Yeah, I want this. OK, so and you're here, and you're so still so complaining. It's all, so I'm it's, here, it's right. and you're still complaining. Hey, I'm here, and you're still complaining. I don't care. If I'm asking for help, your people are just going to tell me, oh, no, I'm no, no, no. I'm giving you help. Like, for real? For real. Yeah, for real. Oh. Yeah, oh. Are you done? What are you going to do about it? Really? Yeah, really. Come here. Seriously, why do I always have to do with the crazies? Why am I in the sales floor by myself? Don't you understand? Do me a favor. Wow, you, you're just going to you know, let her just yell at me like this? All I did was ask for help, bro. Don't touch him. All I did was ask for help, bro. Don't touch him. Bad move. Huh? I've had it. Why was I the only one here to deal with this? I really never want to shop here at American Jewelry and Loan Store. Yeah. Deuces. I turn around and my jewelry customer is gone. I don't get it. Where are my employees? Where's Scott? He's off today. Seth what do you mean he's off today? Seth scheduled him off today. Why? I don't know. I don't know. That's Seth. Hello? What, there's nobody here? I, I don't know. I'm, I don't know. I, Finally, after five minutes. Seth, come with me for a second. I need to talk to you. What? I need to talk to you. Since when did this become your office? Did you see what was going on out there? No. Seriously? I work in the jewelry, and I have somebody in the equipment department screaming at me? Why don't you tell me you cut back on the staff today? We're supposed to run this together. The last time my brother messed with the store policy, half the store didn't come back. What is Seth thinking? There's no reason to change things. Things have been working like this for 30 plus years, and you just want to go about doing it because Dad's not here? I would have done it whether Dad was here or not. All oh, right. If Dad even saw? He wouldn't have a problem at oh all. Oh, my God, I can't wait to even tell Dad. Good, go tell him. I will. 
could. I You're gonna to tell him what? Why don't you tell me you cut back on the staff today? We're supposed to run this together. Is that even soft? You wouldn't have a problem at oh all. Oh my god, I can't wait to even tell Dad. Good, go tell him. I will, don't worry. You're gonna tell him what? What are you doing back? You're not supposed to be back for another What's week. What's the difference what I'm doing back? Get out of my chair. But thanks for the flowers. You know, I have just got back from having surgery. Fortunately for me, it was just a hernia. I thought it was much worse. Unbelievable. I came back to you guys arguing? Really? That's how you run the business when I'm not here? We did it in your office. This is the answer you give me? It wasn't on the sales floor. You the taught us that. The door was open. Somebody tell me what's going on. I'll tell you what's going on. Yeah, tell him. He called staff and told them not to come in today. We're not busy. Why We're would you pay team. people just to sit around? Is that what you want? No, better have aggravated customers and you not be waited on. You one pissed off customer, Ash. One pissed off customer. I'm really disappointed. I expected much more from the two of you. Trust me. When I was lying in the hospital bed, I was doing a lot of thinking about the future. Ashley and Seth have been fighting like little children. The future of this store is dependent on one of them to step up. I wish I could come back at full strength. I don't know when that time will come. I have to make sure that this store that I've built can stay afloat. I'm concerned that it won't. I'm gonna be watching you today and I'm gonna make a choice. I'm gonna have to pick one of you to be in control. Do you understand? Got it. No father wants to choose between his children. But I just came out of the hospital a week ago. I'm not fully recovered yet. I need to put one of my children in charge. I don't wanna hear another word from the two of you. Now why don't you get out of my office and show me what you can do. Fine. I will make my decision by the end of the day. Looking forward to it. American Jury, I can help you. First time here? Awesome. Well, I appreciate you stopping in. This is a nice link right here. You OK? You want help? <laughs> I don't know if I got it. You sure? Yep. Magic. How'd you get magic? Um, I purchased it from a antique shop. OK. It's probably from the 50s. It's uh, cool. I'm into antiques, but this is my dad's expertise, so I want to make sure I do the right thing. Who blinged it out? Um, a friend of mine, she does stained glass. We want anybody on it? <laughs> Quarter? Was that what it takes? Yeah. Here you go. Go in. Magic worked. Because she worked when I left. Aha. Fully functional. Having fun? Oh, yeah. Woo! <laughs> um, what's the least you take for it? I'm looking to get probably 3000 for it. There's a couple of things I know about these from the 50s. They were 10 cents in the 50s. Yeah, they had the box rechanged. Well, so if I'm buying an it's... antique, it's not in its original state. This was changed. This was changed. It's cool, but it's going to be under 1,000. 2,500. Under a thousand. Fifteen hundred. No way. I'm sorry. Thank you very much. And there's your quarters back. If something's antique, you kind of want to keep it in its original form. I hope my dad thinks I made the right decision. I don't know why she started so high. You handle it exactly how I would have. No question. And a good call with the coin back. Yeah. 3,200, that's what they were going for. 
It was a shock to see my dad walk in. He walked into a horrible situation where me and my sister are arguing. I feel ashamed, I'm embarrassed, but it's also an opportunity for me to show my dad that I can take charge. <laughs> I need to see a manager. I'm here. I got a problem. I got a loan on my wife's ring. Yeah? And when I first started coming here, I got a VIP card. I got more on the loan. Now you guys put me to a gold card and I get nothing out of it. VIP is the gold, they're both one the same. We offer a promotion American Joy and Loan. It's called a gold card membership. It gets more money in people's pockets if they want to get a loan and allows you to save money if you want to buy something. How much you get? So 385 and now you're upset, why? What are you guys gonna do about it? I'm gonna allow you to pick up your ring when you have the right amount of money. You're not listening to me. I am hearing you, but you're not listening to me. <laughs> you think this is funny? I don't think it's funny. I think that there's something wrong when you start hitting your head against the side of the window. You know, for talking a bunch of dude, as small as you are, dude, my arms are bigger than your leg, bro. And your brain's obviously not. Oh, you're an idiot. What are you gonna do about it? Coming up, I have decided to put someone else in charge. I got a VIP card. I got more on the loan. Now you guys put me to a gold card. VIP is the gold. They're both one the same. You're not listening to me. I am hearing you, but you're not listening to me. <laughs> you think this is funny? I don't think it's funny. I think that there's something wrong when you start hitting your head against the side of the window. You know, for talking a bunch of dude, as small as you are, dude, my arms are bigger than your leg, bro. And your brain's obviously not. Oh, you're an idiot. What are you gonna do about it? I'm not gonna do anything about it. What are you going to do about it? I am not going to do anything about it. What do you think you're gonna do? Whatever I have to. You need to get out of my face, bro. Okay, I'm sorry, let me scoot back. <laughs> really? I don't, don't see even you, think man. about it. My man, have a good day, my man. Really? Have a good day, sir. Yeah, have a good day. We yeah. go, big man. Yeah. I don't think so. Have a good day, man. Good day. Hell no. Good day. Good day. Good day. You want some? Whatever you got to bring. Come on. Where are we going? My house, right no, here. I'm not going home with you. No thanks. That's what I thought, bro. <laughs> you, you thought right. This. Hello. That's what I thought. This. You want some? You know, this guy was an ass. Even though he was a VIP customer, Seth made the right choice by throwing him out. I would have done the same. Hi, how are you? What's up? Well, I'm here to trade my plumbing items. OK, so what do we got? This is a... Uh... Torch. Yes, yep. These are tubing cutters. OK. Flashlight. So how much do you need? I was looking at this ring right here last week, wherever the cost of that ring is right there. This is 18 karat. It's okay. white gold, $5,000. 5,000? Mm-hmm. I don't, I don't have $5,000. I have probably $1,000, $1,500 worth of tools here, and- You know, how much do you think this little flashlight is? It's $90. That is an explosion-proof flashlight. Explosion-proof flashlight. Flashlight. You're, you're a woman. You don't know. So you insult women? Sometimes I do. Really? Are you married? Yes. I feel bad okay. for her. Is there someone else that can help no, me? I'm... it's me. Come on. Yeah. This guy was getting nowhere by insulting me. Your plumbing may be worth money to you, but it's not worth the amount of money that's going to pay for this ring. That's a bunch of crap. OK. You, you don't, don't know, I do what know what this is all about. I do know. Do you know what these are? No, you don't. You're a woman. Do you know what this is? No, you don't. You're a woman. I'm here to trade. I'm not trading your flashlight for a diamond ring. Now, doesn't that sound stupid? You know what? This is a lot of money. Take your No. out of my store. Have a good day. 
I hope your toilet backs up. And your sink stops working. Blah, blah, blah. This guy was very rude. But you know what? Ashley lost the deal because she let her emotions take over when you run a business. You have to keep your emotions out of it. This is a limited edition Bowie knife. I've got all the paperwork on it. It's not very often you see a guy color coordinated to his car. I'm Anthony. Anthony, nice to meet you. Anthony, hi, I'm Les. Hi, I'm Anthony. What do you got? I got a 1966 Thunderbird. It's in perfect condition. Everything's original. I actually got it as a graduation gift from my pops. So why do you want to sell it? Honestly, I want a convertible, so. I understand. How much are you looking for? 35000 Why? Well, Took the words right out of my mouth. Why? This is an unrestored original. This car hasn't been touched. Every single part you see here is original. We popped the hood, and I could see right away there's reconditioned parts on it. It's a very cool car, but it's not worth the money you're asking. If I said 10 grand. No, I'll, well, see? I'll, 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 that's see? ridiculous. You know what I mean? Like, give me 31. We're not in the same ballpark. Well, can I ask you guys something? Yeah. yeah. Like, say someone brings in a car, and let's say that the previous owner of that car was Brad Pitt or Ryan Gosling. So. So what? Uh, does that, in your minds, bring up the value of the car? No. No. So? So tell me what that meant. This car was in a museum. So what? So that is a museum that displays cars. What the hell are you talking about? Give us a minute. He just wants way too much. You can tell it's not all original. There's reconditioned parts. I won't go more than 12 grand. It's gonna be less than 12,000. You can find them all day long on the internet under 10. Original, unrestored? No, you can't. Bull I'm willing to bet money on Double that. or nothing on the car. You think that bear jacket? 70 grand or zero, how's that? Don't look around, hey, I'm over here, buddy. Put your money where your mouth is. Anyone can post anything they want online, but this is all original. Over that top, I'll show you something. <laughs> last, last. Open that Stop, I'll show you right now that it's been repaired. Less, 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 First less, of all, less. this is original. Are you kidding me? You think that's all original? Bull Didn't you look under the hood? Don't you see? Why don't you just calm down for a second? You know, my dad's going to pop his stitches if he's not careful. He should not be dealing with customers like that. What are you going to let this guy get under your skin? He's yeah. trying to get something over on Who me. Who cares? I'll it's show you that it's been repainted. Dude, just open up the hood. Tell me this is not repainted. That's not repainted. Oh, come on. Somebody that can't see can see that's been repainted. Not repainted. No. Nope. What do you call it? Sir, you might need to get glasses. Not repainted. No. Nope. It's a very cool car, but it's clearly not worth the money you're asking. It's not a solid investment. Well, I appreciate you bringing it in. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Good luck on your next car. I know I lost my cool. Seth is showing me. He can keep a level head. And the last thing I want to do is end up back in the hospital. No problem. We can do that. The buttons are upside down. I mean, it's a flat. Ashley, Seth, come with me to the front. It's been a long day, but before I go home, there's one more thing I need to do. And I might as well let everybody know at once. So as you know, it's been a couple weeks since I've been here. I'm back, but not at 100%. So for the better of the store, while I'm recovering, I have decided to put someone else in charge. And my decision is... So as you know, it's been a couple weeks since I've been here. I'm back, but not at 100%. So, 
for the better of the store, while I'm recovering, I have decided to put someone else in charge. And my decision is, I'm gonna put Seth in charge. Anything that needs to be decided will go through him. I will be back eventually at 100%, but for right now, Seth's in control. We'll talk about it later. You know what? Let Seth run the store. You'll see, Dad, you made the wrong choice. This was a difficult decision, but I chose Seth because he's got a level head. We certainly had our run-ins in the past, but we've learned a lot since then. Seth does not do things the way I do. And you know what? That's not a bad thing. It's opened my eyes to new possibilities. Well, thanks for trusting me. I'm not gonna let you down. You better not this up. You got it.